Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We are here in the brand new UK Overclockers, Overclockers UK, you could say in the right order, uh, Overclockers UK Workshop. I showed this in the last video. If you haven't taken the grand tour of the Overclockers UK Workshop, be sure to go back and check out my last video, PC Building Simulator, where we check out the workshop, everything in it, the gummy bears, the random CPUs lying everywhere, the funny notes, uh, all of the exotic cooling gear, including tons of uh liquid nitrogen and we've got you know we've got cooling pots and all the stuff that you know you need to do exotic cooling so it's a pretty cool place it's a fun workshop i like it it's industrial but be sure to check out the tour if you want to see kind of the full look through and all the little secrets and fun things so if you look around the room you might be able to figure out what we're going to work on today if you look at the cases that we've got set out you might notice that they're all pretty small so uh, today we're going to be doing the smallest PC you can build in PC Building Simulator. So uh, this one's a little bit tricky to do because when you look at cases in this game, you don't really get like, you get minimum dimensions of like graphics cards and like coolers and some of this, but you don't really get like dimensions of the case and you really don't get liters. You don't get volume of the cases, which is what we're going for to figure out what the smallest case in the game is. So uh, I've done some research outside of the game because again, this is all, you know, these are all real parts. They're out in the world, they exist, you can buy them and the leaders do exist, you know, the information's out there. So um, I've got some of the smaller cases in the game set around the room, but none of them are the smallest. None of them are the one that we're gonna do, but we'll just look at a few of them here. Here we've got the Lian Li TU-150. Now, if we were talking in liters, the TU-150 is a 23 liter case, which is pretty small. Um, but it's not that small compared to how small you can you can get. But this was a really fun build we did in the TU-150. Full water cooling loop, including the CPU and GPU. Pretty beast. It might not be the smallest case ever, but it's sweet. It's got an SFX power supply. That's also a good way to figure out some of the smaller cases in the game, is look for the ones with the FSX power supply. It's a good indicator. Here we've got the Silverstone LD-03, which is also a very small form factor case. I think you can put a micro ATX board in this, maybe. I can't remember. So I think maybe you can do a slightly larger motherboard in this. The LD-03 is 26 liters, so larger than the TU-150 we just looked at. And here's another one with a full custom water loop build. This is, these are all bold builds. If you, uh, you want to see these, they're on my channel. So, you know, just feel free to go back and check them out. They're all very fun builds. It's so cool what you can do inside these small form, form factor cases. Hey, here's another all, uh, well, actually, just a CPU uh, water loop. We've got a Founders Edition. What is it? 2080 Ti? 2080? 2080 Ti. Look at that. Yep. Okay. 2080 Ti, 9900K. And this is in the NZXT H210i. So that's one of their kind of smaller cases. Uh, and speaking of NZXT cases that are even smaller than this one, they have another case that came out pretty recently, the NZXT H1. It's a vertical case. It kind of looks like an Xbox Series X and it's 11 liters. This, the H210i, the H200, I think they're very similar. I would guess they're very similar literage, but about 26 liters. So about, yeah, actually like the same volume as this case, amazingly. Uh, so yeah, uh, other other small cases in the game, actually, if we just kind of dig into cases here, I can show you some of the smaller ones, um, smaller than the other ones that we looked at just now. Uh, Region Tech's Ophion is, 16 liters and then smaller than that from silverstone rvz03 which is more of like a console style looks like a dvr or a vcr if you know what that means you might not uh but that is 13 14 liters sorry 14 liters um and then another small case in the game is the region tech metis which comes in a variety of colors, black, red, silver, weird green, gold, white, and blue. And that is 13 liters, also very small and uh, pretty neat. But there is a case that's smaller than everything else we've looked at in the game. And uh, I guess before we go to it though, let's let's look at, just to get you an idea of something maybe a little bit larger, um, like the Corsair 380T, which is a really cool case. It's definitely more compact. It's got a handle, all that, but it's definitely a bit bigger. I wish I had one already built. I don't. Um, I guess I can show you it really quick, but this case is 41 liters. So that probably makes about sense, right? That makes sense. You can see it. Yeah, you know. Uh, so that one's 41 liters. So still, still small, or er, smaller-ish, better, 
you know, you could carry this around, um, but still a bit bigger. But okay, so the one that we're gonna work on is smaller than everything else we've looked at, obviously. It's the smallest PC that you can build in PC Building Simulator. Let me know if you think there's something that's smaller. Please let me know if you think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. There's not a ton of small form factor case in the game, so it's not too horribly hard to weed out. Um, but the case we're gonna look at, we've built in before, but it's been a little while. It is much like the Silverstone RVZ03, where it's like kind of console style like this. Anybody know what's coming? It's the Fractal Design Node 202. And it is very small. The literage of this case is 10 liters. I think maybe just over like 10.1 liters or something technically, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, I mean, you, you know, when you make something that looks like a console, yeah, the liters is gonna be pretty limited. It's got a, a really small power supply it take, you know, it takes an SFX power supply and it's just got a really unique form factor. So it's more of like a set top box style home PC potentially, but you can put some pretty big GPUs in it. So if we go ahead and lift the top of it off, you can see uh, our motherboard IO will go here. You can see our graphics card will end up going here and then the SFX power supply will come up here and it'll actually route a cable down to where you actually plug into the wall from here. But you'll see all this as we put it together. We can remove the other side of it. Um, and there are smaller cases, of course, in the world than this. Uh, one that sticks out in my head would be the Lok Ghost S1, which is like a really super compact. It's not so like, it's not so set top boxy size. It's, uh, I could put a photo up of it so you can just see it. And that's 8.2 liters and it's super sweet. You definitely have to think a lot about how you're gonna build in it. If you're gonna build in it, that's basically gonna happen anytime you build in any of these. But uh, okay, Fractal Design Node 202, let's do it. We're gonna build something pretty high performance because why not, right? Why not? If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Okay, we're doing it. Here we go. Good, 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 great, good. Oh yeah, the Gigabyte X570i AORUS Pro Wi-Fi. We could go Ryzen 3rd gen. Let's throw a 3950X in here. Have I built with this? That active cooler on that. Oh, that's the drive bay. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Does that also cool the chipset on the Jeep? Does it on the motherboard? Is that the motherboard chipset underneath the M.2 drive? Weird. That seems like kind of a bad idea. Oh, we've got an, another M.2 slot around back which is pretty common on these uh, ITX, mini ITX boards. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go 3950X, 3950X, because there are no rules when you're in free build. I'm not footing the bill. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go big. I have no idea what we're gonna do for CPU cooling. It'd be really fun to get an AIO in here, uh, but it'd also be a really bad idea. And well, I don't, I don't know how you do it. Uh, and as far as fans, I don't even remember what you can do. We're, this is going to be a bit of experimenting, I have a feeling, because I have not planned exactly how this build is going to go in here. Uh, but that's part of the fun, right? Right? Um, cool. Let's do... Let's see. How, how gaudy do I feel today? I'm feeling kind of gaudy. Let's do a couple 16 gig sticks of Trident Z Royal in silver. So it's not like full glam. And I mean, what's the point? This is never going to be seen. I just had some laying around, $220 a stick. So, you know, I just want to make sure people know I'm glamorous, even on the inside. Yeah, look at that. It's like platinum. It's very shiny. I like it. Very shiny. Okay, I'm just trying to get a few things kind of figured out as far as uh, we'll just get like some storage figured out and what whatnot. Uh, we should be able to put a big chunky boy around back because... Or maybe we won't. No, oh, I thought we could put a chunky boy, but maybe we're actually too tight on clearance. I was hoping for one of those like big copper heat sinked M.2 drives. No, no, guess not. Guess it does not fit. Let me show you what I mean, just so you you can see that I'm not crazy. It's in here, I promise. It's in here. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, see, even these ones are the big one. But these AORS ones are the chunky copper heat sinks. Bummer. They're like some of the fastest drives, but that's all right. That's okay, we won't get to do that. I never get to put those on anything because the heat sinks are always an issue. And then I always end up doing like these A-Data M.2s, which are great. They really are pretty great. Still very fast. Okay, we'll do a couple of those. And I'm so glad they don't look like they do in the picture. Someone explained to me, because I'm always like, why do these look so weird? And it's, they are RGB. So I think it's just like, 
It's supposed to show like it's lit up in the picture, but it just looks it just looks dumb. It doesn't look like RGB, it just looks dumb. It just looks like painted like fuchsia. But that's alright. Okay, so there you go. We got our heatsink back in place. That is Wow. That is quite clean. Quite small. Alright, uh, graphics card. Let's get a power supply put in here so I can start understanding what is going on. Uh, 650 watts gonna be our top here. Let's go with the FSP Dagger Pro because it seems cool. Oh boy, am I gonna hurt my ability to put that filter back on? Was it on the inside? No, we're good. Okay, all good. Filter the intake for the power supply. Uh, exhaust at the back. See, there's that cable I told you that automatically gets plugged in for the Fractal Design Node 202. So plugs into the SFX power supply and then runs around to this little thing, which is where you can see we kind of plug into the wall or into our power strip. Although something's not, something is not quite working with this cable, I think. So that looks like a fire hazard to me, but that's fine. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. I think it'll be fine. So you see, we got a lot of room here set for reserved for our graphics card, which is cool because you actually can put a really big graphics card in this case, even though it's 10 liters, which is, it's bonkers. It's bonkers. It's crazy. It's super cool. Uh, there is, I took it out earlier. There is like a, um, I don't know, not that drive bay there is a drive bay which i think we can put like a two and a half inch ssd on let's look and see it's been a little while since i've used two and a half inches ssds i don't actually remember what's good uh cool let's do one of these black gigabytes nice and unassuming so can oh i can put it one on whoa 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 whoa, whoa. one on the inside Wait, okay, just on the inside? I like, I can't zoom in more. Yeah, it's just on the inside. Okay, okay, that works. So we can put one on the inside on each side. Dude, I've got four terabytes of, S of solids. Of, no, I've got, oh, I've got six terabytes because each M.2 is two terabytes. Six terabytes of solid state storage inside a 10 liter case. Yes. I like this, I'm into this. That's cool, it's kind of a little wiry mess. Glad I don't have to do it. Glad this isn't like cable management simulator. I would be extremely bad at that. You would hate watching me play it. Uh, okay, we should, we should put a graphics card in. We should also think long and hard about what we're gonna do with CPU cooling. Oh wow, never mind. There's nothing to think about. Okay, well. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not doing the Mortoni Thermal 100 because, come on, I'm not doing it. Cryrig C7. Wow. That's the only one that fits? I thought you could maybe do an AIO in this if you decided you didn't want a GPU. Wow. There are not much for low-profile coolers, but that is a good one. The Cryrig C7. Not bad. We'll have to see how our temps are on our ridiculous 16-core uh, processor, right? Yes, 16 core, 3950X, my goodness, $900. Okay, got it, cool, let's do it. Graphics card, let's do it. Let's get something good going here. Um, obviously, we're going air cooled. <laughs> obviously, we're going air cooled. Maybe, maybe, you can, maybe you can tell that, but. Uh, let's do a 28 Ti, ever heard of it? I don't know, me neither. Um, okay, we could do Founders Edition, and eh, we could also not do Founders Edition. Wow, so I can put a fat boy card in here like a because you know these like these evga for the win cards are like two and a half slots they are thick boys th 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 thick boys put a blower style card in would almost make sense in a case like this truthfully um they're nice because they exhaust out the back much like a power supply does you draw through here and exhaust out the back which can make sense in a case like this do i do something realistic is that boring Let's just look. How does this look? Oh, oh my gosh, we have so much room. So much room for activities. Holy cow. Because this is like not exactly a super thick graphics card. I've got all this extra room. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to do it because I've never used the blower style card. And this is about the best place I can think to actually use one. So let's do it. We're going to filter this. So it'll be intaking through that and it'll exhaust out the back which is good a lot of times like a graphics card will intake up through the bottom just as this one does um, but then it'll kind of like exhaust out through the front of the card like that's hard to explain but uh this actually would make sense for a card like this because we're not going to really have a lot of room for exhausting 
I find it exhausting, actually, just thinking about it. Uh, okay, side panel, panel, okay, foot. This is not a panel, this is a foot, but that's fine. Oh, I gotta put the other side panel. Actually, you know what? You, you never you never put the computer back together before you actually power it on. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to put the phone on. Oh, wait, so this one first. Uh, install side panel. What is, what? What? What are you telling me is a cable is conflicting with me installing the side panel? Okay, I have to install the other side first. Got it. Go to do that, and it's like, no. This is connected. What is this? That's the motherboard to something. Okay, good. Weird. Very weird. And, okay. So it, like, connected to the case, even though it wasn't ready. Can I power it on now? Yes, good, 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 good. All right, that's turning. I can see... I can see my little blower in there turning too on the graphics card. A little hard to tell. All right, good. Let's get her set up, and uh, we'll run. I'll run some tests. We'll check out temps, and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got some stuff set up here. Uh, 3D Mark test comes in at 10,837. That's 10,685 on the graphics. 11,794 on the CPU. Uh, yeah. Single 20 ATI blower from Zotac and then a 3950X 16 core monstrosity uh, from AMD. And our temperatures, CPU temp up to almost 83C under max load, which is, uh, it's it's definitely hot, which is, I, I guess I'm kind of happy to see because it should be hot. This is a small case and it's a pretty, you know, dinky little cooler. So I'm, 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 that's, that, that's fair. In fact, like, I think that's still probably sort of friendly uh gpu temp no issues there not even touching 60c so life is good as far as those go um lighting i guess i didn't really look at it no oh, nope it doesn't need a change literally all there is is like rainbow on the motherboard and the on the ram which is it's all you need oh and my my m.2 is 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 also purple i can't tell what is it doing i can't i can't tell is it purple Yep. Oh, pink. Nope. That's perfect. Yep. Just going to leave you like that. So maybe that's why it shows like that weird color in the, in the shop. Okay. So there we go. This is the smallest PC you can build in PC building simulator. Uh, this is what it looks like when you've got it opened up. It looks just like a console sort of only it's so much more powerful and fun and interesting and awesome and expensive and expensive, definitely expensive. Uh, yeah, speaking of expensive, almost $4,000 in this game for this. And, uh, yeah, it would not be a cheap computer to build in real life the fractal design node 202 though is actually a surprisingly affordable case in real life i don't think that price is really that far off which is pretty cool for something that's so unique and actually is pretty versatile if you had a mini itx motherboard and an sfx power supply the rest is you know be careful with the cpu cooler but otherwise it's it's actually fits you know pretty much anything i mean it does okay it does all right uh and so much room still for the for the graphics card. I'm pretty 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 blown away by it actually. Uh, let's go ahead and cap off the other side of it. And there it is. Oh, don't forget the foot slash panel. There it is. So it could stand up like this. You can move the foot and lay it down just like a normal set-top box. You could do it either way, and you would have a ridiculous gaming PC that you could carry under one arm. You could take it to a friend's house. You could take it to the library. I don't know what you do with the library, but you could do it. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think there is a smaller PC you can build in PC Building Simulator. And I guess let me know uh, what other f small form factor cases that you think that they should add to the game that are in real life that are smaller than the Fractal Design Node 202. So, hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed getting to see some small form factor cases. Uh, the Fractal Design Node 202, some stuff from Silverstone, NZXT, uh, Lian Lee, a bunch of stuff. So, uh... Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy and you want to see more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe. And either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.